Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you I hope easy to follow a tutorial how you can make a really cute uh, and very easy to do books from one sheet. These are made from 12 by 12 paper and these small are made from A4 size sheet. You can use any kind, uh, any size of paper to create these little books. The bigger piece of paper you will have, the bigger book you will have. And I'm going to share with you how you can make them easily. I am going to start with uh, making this journal from 12 by 12 papers. And I'm going to choose papers which are one side printed. I think these papers are giving me more opportunity to make it like a writing journal. But of course you can use any kind of paper you like. So I think I'm going to choose this one. And the folding is very easy. Fold the paper on the half. Twist it. And then fold the paper on the half. Because here is more layers. I'm going to take my bone folder and burnish. And now <clears throat> you can fold it uh, to the middle or, you know, from here to that fold. Which way it's more easy for you to fold it. Or you can fold both of them. But um, if you will fold this amount of papers that a second layer doesn't have to be folded exactly but i think with these small journals it just make it more precious you know it's handmade item so do not get stressed about exact measurement just enjoy that folding enjoy easy craft and that you can create a really beautiful journal from one paper. Now unfold everything and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna be using distress ink just to distress all this spot so you will be able to see more uh, visible way where my uh, folding are. And now about cutting, we gonna cut T, letter T. So you can cut it from here, that middle part and this top part here in the middle you have to cut on the side where you have three folded sides not here where they are where there is just one middle folded side so on the side where you have three folded sides cut the middle one and this top line like this now I can flip it over, fold this here, fold this here, and then this middle fold I'm going to rise up and fold it this way. So I do have my mini book with writing papers and decorative papers. You may want to have there more writing papers. In that case, flip it over with that <coughs> write, uh, with that printed uh, printed side up. Fold this here. Fold this here. Then flip it over this way. That you fold these. Fold them over, then rise up the middle part, and you do have base with few decorative papers and then a lot of writing pages. It depends what you want. Now about the gluing together. So there is so many options what you can do with this simple cutting. You can keep it like writing pages you can make it like a pocket here stable pocket and just one writing uh, page <clears throat> you can glue it here on the bottom and keep it like a writing page or you can make it like decorative pocket by flipping this the other way glue it here and here 
and then you will have flipping up pocket from the side and then a writing page before you will do any kind of these decisions i would say if you do have cheap paper like this there will be good to reinforce uh, the important folds which is this one on the top if you will want it like a flipping up thingy so reinforce it with maybe washi tape or you can use uh, any kind of packing tapes and just glue these two folds to make them stronger you can use maybe you can use some stencils and do some stenciling like this you can add washi tapes uh, and make some nice beautiful layouts with your washi tapes like this and maybe maybe you like sewing effect so you can sew all around of this 12 by 12 and you can also sew in these uh, folded lines if you want uh, i'm gonna be making sewing sewing effect here on this side and all around of my paper and also here where I do have those cuts so I'm gonna sew this side here and this side here I do have my sewing all around and also here and here done and uh, I would like to keep this as an writing pages with few pockets so here on this side I would like to keep the pocket from the side loaded pocket so that means that I will need to glue it here on the bottom and also here on that fold so I will have one page here and from this side I will have pocket I'm gonna be using sewing machine on the bottom and here in this spine I'm gonna just put a glue so first I'm gonna put a glue here where the fold is Fold it down. And the bottom of this piece, here that bottom, I'm going to sew with my sewing machine. So I'm just going to slide it there and I will start just a slightly uh, behind that fold, somewhere here. So with that sewing and gluing in this part, I do have pocket from this side. I do have decorative paper here, decorative paper here, and writing space, writing space. This will be middle top loaded pocket. So I'm going to grab the glue and make that middle as my pocket, top loaded pocket. And I'm going to be using glue for that. So I'm going to just keep this last part folded down I'm gonna fold all this over put a glue here on the bottom to the fold fold is here so put the glue here on the bottom and also on this side and I'm gonna fold this back So I do have pocket, page, top loaded pocket and then this is the last part and I can keep it as it is so it will be kind of like flying opening thingy or I can make it like a flying pocket that way I will flip this over and I can also use a glue for that or I can use sewing machine and make so sewn stitching here and here 
that way I will have side loaded pocket but I'm gonna be using just a glue and I'm gonna put a glue here and here on the top and fold this down and let it dry and that way I just created side loaded pocket which can be flip up and I do have here writing space and I do have my first mini journal I can keep it as it is and just decorate this and this part and do not add there anything else I will have pocket here writing page writing page writing page pocket here and this flying pocket and writing page here and this can be my front cover this can be my back cover to make this mini notebook or notepad looks like uh, kind of like more like notepad I'm gonna be using this medical fabric tape adhesive fabric tape and I'm gonna stick it over the spine cut that tape and fold the tape over the edge if I do have somewhere a little bigger piece I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it down so I do have reinforced spine and I would like to have some label on the top so for that I'm gonna use these address labels book page and washi tape gonna grab my washi tape <coughs> stick the washi tape here now take my label and kind of have a look how far that label will go so somewhere here I'm gonna add over that spot my washi tape gonna place that washi tape on this side and do again same I'm gonna put my label here and have a look how far the label go and put the washi tape over this spot as well now I can take my address label place it over all this get up my scissors And I do have beautiful label. I'm gonna distress it with vintage photo distress ink. I'm gonna stamp some images. And now I just need to apply the glue on that book page and glue it on my mini notepad. So I do have it stamped like this and I'm gonna just use my scissors, cut it on half. Oh, not on half, cut it between. <laughs> now this side I'm gonna stick here and this side I'm gonna stick here so I will have kind of like two stickers made at once they are matching each other and once you add into your journal some goodies it can looks like this I use the distress ink on all edges all around of my um, mini notepad I did use the vintage photo first and then on the edges I did use this spectrum noir uh, smoked pearl distress ink and I really like how it looks like it does have beautiful vintage vibe so this is from 12 by 12 and the size looks like this and I'm gonna show you also from A4 size paper for that I'm gonna take some paper from my paper pad mm, which one I'm 
maybe this crazy one. Here are three different, uh, different documents. So I will see how it will looks like from this paper. And I'm gonna do exactly same. The long side, I'm gonna fold on half. Always longer side, if you do have rectangle shape, always longer size, fold on half. And then the shorter size, fold twice. When you do have rectangle, when you do have square, there is, you know, there, there is obvious no matter. Because first you are folding same size of sides together. Now, half. And now this one here. And that one, I'm gonna fold it this way. It will give me much better fold because this paper, it's very thick. It's 170 GSM. So very nice, thick paper. And I'm gonna use Distress Ink to make sure I can see better way my foldings. So I do have Distress both sides and I already cut the T into my paper. And this time I would like to have mainly the visible the print, the, the design. So I'm gonna be folding it this way where I can see the most of my papers. So in the end, the white uh, white pages or white sides will be mostly in that back side and those decorative papers will be very visible and again I can decorate it with washi tapes with stamps and then to use them to make a pockets or just leave these as extra pages for writing and create my mini booklet same way like before these fold it down and leave it as extra pages or glue it here on the bottom as a pocket from the side or glue these together here and here as a pocket from the side or if you want you can actually create the pocket from bottom here if you will glue this and this side so you can slide the tuck from here so once you do have decorated your mini book I created I hope I didn't seal it oh no I did create it pocket here and it's like flip out then I do have that middle pocket here and one small here at the front and then here I left it like opening and lift up so once you do have your mini book you can also create some simple uh, book cover for it for that I've got here two uh, old two pieces from old envelope which are nearly similar like my book just slightly bigger just very small gap all around and I do have two pieces uh, front cover back cover and I do have this paper which will be big enough to cover my papers so I'm gonna cut the piece of the paper wrap these two parts so I'm gonna glue my chipboards on the paper Put the glue here on these folds and then fold it over the edge. Same on that opposite side.
and same here. So I do have first part. I'm gonna wrap up the second part. So I do have front cover, back cover, and I'm gonna glue it to the front. So here is front, okay. I'm gonna put the glue on my front piece. Grab my front cover, that front cover I'm gonna align with this spine of my book block <laughs> of this little notepad and here I'm gonna try to be uh, on both sides evenly and press it together now I'm gonna do same with back cover So line it with the spine and then line it with that front cover and press. The spine of my book I'm going to cover easy way again with that sport tape because it's very light journal. So the sport tape will be good enough to make sure I will place it straight. I'm going to use my uh, the pattern here, that graph pattern, to help me to place that uh, tape straight here. And I'm going to cut it here. And now I'm going to fold it over, just easy way. I do have here a little bit more than I supposed to have, so I'm going to grab my scissors and cut those extras. And I do have my mini book done. So that was my sharing for today. Here are my books. So I'm going to just very quickly to flip through a few of them just to show you some inspiration, hopefully. So this first one, it has pocket here. It has page here. It does have that middle pocket here. And as you can see, I used for decorating just uh, masking tape, um, stencil and washi tapes. And I have created pocket here in that flip out for another kind of like tag or writing card. And this little journal is holding uh, photos and it does have a soft cover. I didn't use the chipboard to reinforce the cover of this one. Here this one it's just empty. I do have here a few stickers and this has flip outs flip up so you can write here something just lay down and write something and you have writing pages here it does have that middle pocket here and it does have another writing pages here and this one has one pocket I'm gonna take this card as my hel helper this mini journal has one pocket here and also one pocket here. And here I used uh, Tim Holtz stamps, uh, these beautiful stickers of flowers and some washi tapes to decorate the pages of this journal. And it's made, both are made from 12 by 12 paper. I do have another two. Again, easy, just flip out and again, pocket here. And pocket here where is the back cover and the papers are decorated 
very similar way, I use these beautiful stickers and underneath I used stencils, stamps and washi tapes to decorate my papers. It does have this beautiful flip out this way. And it does have this middle pocket here. I used stitching all around on all of my journals. And I really love these stickers. They are so gorgeous. Look at these designs. And flip up. So that's this journal. This uh, I used kind of like very modern uh, 12 by 12 sheet. It did had, um, you know, it's from old, old phone that uh, dialing circle it was the design of that paper so with this design i went uh, like my decoration vintage photos because they can match that that design really nicely and here i do have quite a lot of pockets so one pocket it's right here at the front and i do have there just that decorative file folder another pocket it's here and another pocket it's right behind the picture and then i do have this uh, photo and you can also slide something behind that photo so it can be another pocket we do have pocket here in the middle is it oh it's <laughs> it's the next one here in the middle we do have pocket so writing space and here we have kind of like another pocket writing space and here i added these corners so i can slide picture behind those corners and i do have another picture here and pocket behind so that's this one and then these small ones i kind of went with all of them very similar way I used lots of these beautiful stickers from the nature to decorate my pages. And I do have mostly only this middle pocket. In few on a few of these small journals, I made the cut in that designed paper. So I made the cut before I glue it together. So then I do have one small pocket here and another pocket here and it's just cut in the design. And then we do have another pages for writing and another flip out. And as you can see I did decorate a lot these little journals. They can be like your practicing for labels, for washi tapes, for stamps. So flip up. The papers which I used for making these little journals are from paper pad, uh, my own paper pad. I do have it on my Etsy. So links will be down below. And I think I did use here a lot of glue for gluing that to my cover. And I do have pocket here. Yes, I do have pocket here. And I should have pocket here. And I do have pocket here, so something can be slide in there. And again with mushrooms. Very simple layouts. And it's really so much fun to create these. Here I made again, <coughs> in the design of that paper, I created... Uh, cut so I do have pocket here and that middle pocket here and another page here flip up and opening for writing and here is with flowers, so I'm gonna just very quickly go through how you can simply decorate your pages. Here is pocket. I need to fill these pockets with uh, some tags and goodies. I just wanted to show you how you can decorate those pages. And 
and all of these pa uh, papers uh, which I used for my journals I did sewing this one is only one where I didn't use my sewing machine and I really love this style it's kind of like more grungy again the pocket here And I think it's going really well with these books. So it's flip up and opening. And here we have butterflies. And I do have one more butterflies here. They are in different colors. And as you can see, those flip outs are quite similar. Here I have created pocket because I glued this one here and here. So I do have side loaded pocket in that flip. And here I have created, I just cut the window into that paper before I glued that paper here and here together. If you will follow the tutorial, you will understand. So I do have pocket here. And these butterflies are just really beautiful decoration. And flip up, flip up, and opening here, and opening here. So even these are very small journals. There is a lot of space for journaling, even they are really very small. And quite lots of space for putting goodies. You do have pocket here pocket here at the front and pocket here at the back so you have pocket, pocket here at the back this pocket I have created once I had <coughs> my mini book block and when I ha had ready to go these uh, front and back chipboard wrapped to decorative papers on my book block, I put glue here, here and here and I glued down the chipboard that way. I had a side pocket. I created side pocket same. It's with back cover. I put glue here, here and here and that way I do have a uh, kind of like a side pocket and the uh, pocket in the middle where is it this pocket the large one is this middle fold that's it's the large pocket and if I will make a cut here in the middle maybe in the middle of that page and then glue it glue it together uh, here and here and glue it together with that cut in there I created one more pocket on that page. One I do have here on the top and another one I will have here. So that's all my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I gave you some inspiration what to create. These are really cute mini books and they can be perfect as a gift or uh, as a wonderful addition for all journals it's so much fun to create them and you can really use any size of papers so try it even from six by six or even from smaller you never know how cute book you can create thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye